Tesla. So it certainly could get uh, super interesting, that's for sure. But we're gonna get into our next topic. So welcome back to the channel, welcome back to another video. Today in this next topic, we're gonna talk about the Tesla supercharging network and how what or what's Tesla's plan to opening it up to other EVs. And it seems like they've already announced it, or at least the White House has teamed up with Tesla and Elon to announce it. And so this gives us for us for more visibility on how many chargers will actually be open to other EVs. And like, I wonder like all the different ways they're going to maybe potentially limit it or maybe not limit it for other EVs. So if you're just joining in, my name is Dennis. I love talking about Tesla hacking as I like to call it, but basically just getting the best deal on a Tesla at the best possible price or just getting really good financing on your Tesla. So if you're interested in any of that, please hit that subscribe. And today's video is actually sponsored by my Patreon link down below in the description, but more on that later. All right, so let's just take a look at this. This was actually posted on Reddit a few days ago and I guess I, I missed it was all that supercharging hype or supercharger hype uh, that uh, Tesla is opening it up for everybody else. And I do wonder how like they're going to charge the, you know, all the other uh, non EVs for payment. And I also wonder like how many of these non other EVs, once they see how easy it is to use a Tesla supercharging network, hopefully because they're going to have to download the app and it's going to sync and all that stuff. They're going to see how easy it is to plug in to the actual supercharger and they'll see all these other Teslas that plug in like super fast and not messing with any sort of apps or anything like that and there's gonna be a lot there's gonna be a percentage of conversions from non-evs to tesla so i certainly think this is a good idea i mean this is great for tesla because the more impressions the better right when they see when these non other evs like these ionic fives ford lightnings or ford mach e's are going to be rolling up to these superchargers and they see you know how easy it is for a tesla to charge there's going to be some conversions uh pretty sure pretty sure so tesla will open a portion of its U.S. superchargers and destination chargers prior network to non-Tesla EVs, making at least 7,500 chargers available to all EVs by the end of 2024. So that's a good amount, right? 7,500. But what does that mean in terms of like how many superchargers are actually out there, right? So Tesla owners get double the charging locations, 15,000 total, and still get exclusivity on the existing networks. Okay, so right now I guess there's 75. Yep, so right now there's 7,500 Tesla chargers. And wow, they're actually going to double it up to 15,000 total. That's a that's a good amount, that's for sure. Uh, so that'd be pretty nice for all EVs to actually use it as well. But, uh, you know, that's that's all. Also, it's going to expand the network for all Tesla owners as well, doubling up to the to some fifteen thousand Tesla superchargers out there. So this is going to be interesting. I want to can't wait to see one actually be implemented and built. But uh, I mean, at this point, they're probably going to probably going to start uh, ASAP on this. So I can't wait to see a bunch of them out there. But let me know your thoughts on it. Do you I agree with this? Do you like that Tesla's opening it up to? I mean, but this it makes sense, right? Because Tesla's going to get a bunch of money from this. They're going to get a bunch of funding for Tesla to build this supercharged network. And it's good for all of us, especially the long-term longevity for Tesla owners and buying that next Tesla. So let me know your thoughts on it down below in the description in the comments. But uh, we're going to get into our next topic. We're just going to speed run through all this. But, but today's video is actually sponsored by my Patreon link. Down below in the description, there's a Patreon link where you can support the channel. And there's a variety of benefits, but some of them include actually scheduling a call with me. We can ask me any questions about buying a Tesla, selling a Tesla, or even financing a Tesla. And after you join the Patreon, you get a link to my buying guide, which has links to all the resources that I use to get the best possible deal at the best possible price, including a couple of credit unions on that list that have interest rates as low as 2.5% to 3.2% to 4% from 60 to 80 months. So definitely check out if you're interested, but we're going to jump into the comments now. Water 